managerials. And invading imperials. Are on every day. And you must obey. Watch killer thriller serials. <laughs> What if Gene Roddenberry made Flash Gordon? what would taste good right now to everyone in the car candy we've got your favorite kind at the concession stand come on down and pick out the kinds you want to enjoy during the rest of the show be sure to get plenty because everyone likes candy and our big variety is chosen to please everybody's taste
like that, and we're finished. I have an idea. What are you trying to do? Sending him a dot and dash code. Baron and I worked it out together. Uh, slim can. Yes, but our only one. Zoltonilium projectiles. All work has to be done in a complete vacuum, sire. The smallest amount of oxygen touching that metal would have ignited it and burned it alive. Your Majesty means to attack the Earth at once? No, we will first test the projectiles on Prince Baron's kingdom of Aborea. Aborea, sire? The Aborean forest is the source of all the fine timber in Mongol. One projectile yes, dropped yes, there. Yes, 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 I understand, I understand. The projectile will only be dropped in the barren sections of Aborea. The Prince will have warning to watch their effect and contemplate what will happen in case I direct them against his palace. Your pardon, sire, but surely you don't mean to destroy Aborea. Why, the Princess Aurea, your daughter, is there, and... My erring daughter deserves no consideration. However, I suppose she must be removed. You're keeping secret communications with my daughter's attendant, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire, by means of the verse. Good. I'll give you a message for her. demonstration of the means at my command to punish your allegiance to my enemies, the Earthmen. When you see your wastelands burn, think what will happen to your castle and your forest. He means to use Zotronillium, the fire metal against Arborea. How long before you can complete your defense, Doctor? Well, thanks to the years spent by Professor Carm in developing his contra-thermal defense theory, I can complete the machine to dispense it in a day, perhaps two. At least two. There'll be enough time, Doctor. I know my crafty father-in-law. He's bluffing. He wouldn't dare attack our boy while his daughter is here. Prince Baron! Your honey! The Princess Aura has just been abducted by soldiers of Ming. The Lady Sonia 
Let us into an ambush. I did what I could. Uh, my position at once. Go ahead with the cut thermal machine, Doctor. Don't worry, Baron. We'll help you and Orr out of this mess. Somehow. What is it now? Prince Baron. Roll it through. He's pretty dense, isn't he? Inbred royalty. He and Flash Gordon have worked out a dot and dash code, right? That's right. And Baron recognized it. Of course. They pack an awful lot of information in that code. Sure do. Don't these guys have parachutes? Too primitive. Guess so. Crude. No anti-gravity then? Guess not. Their ships seem to be made of highly flammable metal. Now, was he punishment? That's enough for now, I think. That's in character. Sulfuronalium. Is that supposed to be phosphorus or magnesium? Endometal. Techno babylonium. No such thing. It's just an alloy of kryptonite and dilithium. Could be. Unicorns come from Mongo. Looks like it. Stupid. Why is that? They don't come from Mongo, Doc. Where then? Everybody knows that unicorns come from Atlantis. They're important. Ming of Mongo trades with the Undersea Kingdom? Maybe. And where exactly is Atlantis located now, Doc? Georgia. Oh. This film had four captains. Lee Powell as Roca, Don Rowan as Torch, Edgar Edwards as Turan, and William Royal as Sudden. Well, now for the rest of the film. Prisoner. When you and your husband, Prince Baron, chose to ally yourself with the Earth Men, you became my enemy and must take the consequences. You dare to tamper with my attendants, to send this slinking cat Sonia to worm her way into my confidence. And you, Captain Torch, you bloody handed murderer, to lay hands upon royalty. Mark my words, you two shall pay for this when Prince Baron and Flash Gordon. Yes, I'll say. Sir. We have intercepted a radio message from Prince Baron to his patrol ship. Yes? All patrol ships. The Emperor Ming is about to attempt destruction of Arborea by means of fiery projectiles. Dr. Zorkov has devised means of counteracting this murderous attack. Inform me at once location of any of these projectiles, and steps will be taken to extinguish fire. Signed, Baron. There's the answer to your threat. The Earth men have beaten you once. They'll beat you again. Take her to the women's quarters. Sonia, Torch, Sire. Your Majesty. You have done well and will be rewarded. But I have another task for you. We are ready, Sire. Whatever means Zarkov has of extinguishing our projectors must be carried to the spot of conflagration. Information as to location must come from Baron's laboratory. Now you are to proceed at once to Arborio, destroy Prince Baron's radio station, Thus preventing these messages from being sent. Shall be done, sir. Now listen, Flash, and get this clear. For all our lives may depend upon it. You know I've got to sit here and direct you where the projectiles fall. Go ahead, Doctor. By turning this dial, you will envelop your ship with contrathermal waves that will protect you from the extreme heat. I see. One of these units must be placed by you, close to Ming's projectile when it falls. Dale understands how to protect you while you accomplish this. Ronald will run the ship. Thank you. Thanks for calling, Prince Baron. Yes, Flash? We're over the courtroom wakeland, Baron. 
Ready for action. No sign of enemy activity. Maintain your present circuit. Dr. Zarkov will give you the exact information the moment the projectile strikes. Good. We'll be ready. The projectile is ready to be fired, Your Majesty. Has the range been calculated? Yes, sir. The dial readings are 16, 44, 336. We'll alter the range every 20 minutes. determination to conquer the universe. I'll get flash. Yes, Doctor, we saw it and fell it fast. I got it. 30 miles due west from here. First projectile, 30 miles due west from here. Change your course accordingly. Yes. I'll get the flash soon. No use, Flash. You can't live in this heat. After all, this wasteland is no bad. Unless that blaze extinguished, it will burn up all the oxygen in the air. Sample thousands of people, Ronald. I must go. I know you can do it, Flash. Good girl. stretch of uninhabited land to the west of Ming's capital called the Land of the Dead, to which we might transport the gun and direct it upon the castle. Its purpose is to generate a magnetic influence that will paralyze Ming's power plants and weapons of defense. The speed ship will get you to the Land of the Dead before them. Careful. We've got enough sense tonight there to shatter a convent. 
We've got to lay this mine and be well under the air before Prince Baron's expedition arrives. You can't afford to miss Vice Gordon conquers the universe. Now for the beacon. So time off. Not for you. Flash Gordon, firefighter. Based on Red Adair. So now being shooting Roman candles at Sherwood Forest? Are boring. Where they ride the unicorns. Of course. So they use swords and bows and arrows against Ming's ray guns. So it seems. No wonder Ming rules Mongo. Mercilessly. Like you. Exactly. Now for the punishment phase. <laughs> Questions, comments, syndication contract bills, and offers of sexual liaison. Maybe email to recycled at gmail.com. Thank you very much.